Look at this, the weight of each tower, 70,000 tonnes. This mirror. <laughs> this was £11.40. This is what everyone wants to do, is walk on the glass floor. I forgot my gloves. It is three degrees, it is windy and it is sunny. I'm gonna put my sunnies on, I hope you don't mind. But yes, I'm down by the River Thames to get the hair in my mouth, that would help. Um, and I'm by obviously the Tower of London, which is looking beautiful in the sun. It's looking a bit grey over there, which is slightly concerning. But we're gonna go and have a look at Tower Bridge. It is so windy, my goodness me. But yes, Tower Bridge is looking absolutely stunning. Look at all these seagulls, they're after all the chips. And as I pan across, oh, my fingers are cold already. We have got City Hall. Um, yes, come on. I feel like the mayor should be paying me for these videos at this point. And as I zoom across, we have HMS Belfast, which is probably where I will finish this video, and the stunning shard, which maybe I'll go to in another video. Has anyone been? I heard it does have pretty epic views. Naturally, it's a super busy little morning here. It's a Sunday morning, and yes, just outside the Tower of London. And I would say if you're coming to the Tower of London, definitely jump on one of the back of these tours, the Yemen tours. They are free, they do time them, I don't know how often, maybe over half an hour. Don't quote me, but it gives you a really good insight. And like I say, it's a freebie. Look at that, stunning. But the slightly backlit, oh, the sky is not behaving today. We are going. Ooh all the way up on this bridge guys we're going all the way up and we're going to walk across the top of tower bridge can you believe might look a little disheveled and windswept in this video i mean ironically this is probably one of the days i probably should have worn a hairband <laughs> what am i like oh the tide is out no one's looking for treasure are they at the moment but i just want to call out this isn't one of the other piers it's one of the stations i'll pop up on a map on the screen where you can use the technically the oyster card which is the freebie little kind of zap plastic card um to travel around london i feel like i shouldn't oh look at the state of my hair we're just gonna ignore my hair um i feel like i shouldn't quote prices for tfl because i feel like they go up every so often 10p here 10p there but yeah the boats are a really good way to kind of explore the city bit windy, a bit cold today, but if you are uh, responsible and bought a hat and gloves, unlike me, it will be fun. I'm trying to show you the bridge, but because of the sun, it's very, very backlit. I don't know, it's kind of spooky. I do like it. But yes, I'm going to head on all the way up there. Oh, look at that with the flag flying. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely be doing some tours along the river very shortly. Oh, look at that view. I've never been a fan of the kind of light blue that they've used, but I guess it's pretty iconic now. But look at the stunning windows all the way down. I'm going to get a really, really good view inside. So let's head on in. How much is it? How much is it? So tickets, uh, adults, 16 years above. I mean, you can read 11.40. I did look online. It wasn't any cheaper to buy it in advance. So there you can see. Snapshot that if you wish. But the last time I came here and did this tour, I think I was about 14 maybe 13 years old and I came with my grandparents, uh, bless them. So yeah, this is, um, yeah, 20, how old am I? It's, it's a long time ago. And we're gonna start to get lots of little views. Whoa, this looks crazy already, guys. Oh my gosh, I have to hold on to look up. We're going all the way up. I reckon that was probably maybe four flights of stairs, but they've got lots of bits of info and they've got a little bit of information. Now there is a lift all the way up uh, to the next section. Got a bit of info on the excavations. You kind of forget about that, my ignorance. 1886 to 1890. <laughs> they should be a steady man, men of good physique, capable of sustaining considerable bodily strain. Oh my gosh, could you imagine wearing that? Flip a neck. They've got like a little bit of, I like all these little props and things that they've got. Gets you in the vibe. How to build a caisson? Caisson, is, am I saying that right? Oh gosh, flip a neck. Imagine having to do that job. They dug out nearly six meters of the Thames gravel and clay. Oh my gosh. And then the total height had to be over 17 meters. I mean, that is absolutely terrifying. I'm quite scared of water and heights, so maybe <laughs> this isn't the perfect thing to do. But hashtag inside Tower Bridge. Oh, maybe I should tag this video. I'm sure they don't really care that I'm making a vlog, but oh, I love architecture. Look at all these windows and look at these, all these little call outs, metallic paving from Strand WC, if I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, you get all the gorgeous windows. 
Oh, there we go, six divers excavated over, oh my gosh, 21,000 square cubic meters. Is that what that is? Look at this, the weight of each tower, 70,000 tons, nearly 38,000 black cabs. I like things like that when there's like a bit of context for, for us normal folk. And I'm like holding on because this is like making my legs go a little bit funny. Gosh, look at that guy, just stood there. <laughs> Those kind of photos scare the life out of me. Well, we're getting higher and higher. What are we at now? 1890 to 1894. Bit of a nod to the stonework there. Look at that child worker. <laughs> Makes you appreciate your job a little bit more. And there we go, it opened on the 30th of June, which is my birthday. And they've clearly put those like bits of information in um, to kind of break up the walk. So it doesn't feel like you've walked actually up that far. I think the first bit's the worst. These are the people who designed and built Tower Bridge back in the 1890s. The architect on the far left is Sir Horace Jones. There was a competition to design what this bridge would look like. This was the winning design. Holding those bits of steel together, all done by hand. The hot river team, which we'll find out a bit more about when you get to the south tower on the other side. After him, you have Sir William Armstrong, who designed and built the steam engines, which lifted the bridge when it was needed to. My hero, John Wolf Barry, who was the chief engineer in charge of the project. Uh, if it weren't for him and his calculations, the whole bridge might not have fitted together. Also, his father, Sir Charles Barry, designed the Houses of Parliament in Westminster. Which brings us to one of the bridges. So we're going to be um, on the east side, looking out to East London. Ooh. Oh, wow. OK, it did pick a good day to do this. I tried to do it when it was sunny and it stopped raining. Oh, every so often there's like a boomy sound, I guess, where something's crossing the bridge. Uh, but you've got Butler's Wharf down there. Maybe I'll show that in another video. It's like a cute area with shops and stuff. But over into East London as one of the boats, well, quite a few boats. I'm gonna test my, oh, test the zoom of my camera now. Look at those boats. Maybe I should do that in another video, but what a gorgeous view. Imagine living right on the Thames. I would absolutely love that. And then over in the background, that is Canary Wharf. I'm sure quite a lot of people are watching The Apprentice at the moment. <laughs> oh, if you want a restaurant, Butler's Wharf has got quite a lot of nice restaurants if you fancy going for like a proper non-touristy lunch. Oh, look at those apartments. I love the kind of old factory style. Actually, that's more warehouse, isn't it? Oh my gosh, my hair. I should have bought a hairbrush. I mean, has anything changed? So yeah, there's a bit of a blurb here about how in the 19th century, um, yeah, by the 1870s, one million people lived in the neighborhood of East End alone. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so they needed some more bridges. I mean, I feel like East London still needs some bridges, but that's another topic altogether. Um, yeah, people upstream had 12 bridges. Yeah, we had a lot of bridges in West London. East London, I feel like, still hasn't got many, but it's not that busy in here. Oh, very quickly, they have a pressed penny machine. I feel like this should be at the end. What can you have? Tower Bridge, there's a few different options. Oh, shall I do the thing? What other options have we got? My lucky penny, the monument. Oh, I don't feel like anyone's gonna pick that coming in here. Oh, that's the best one. Push to start. I'm not buying one. One pound fifty. That's kind of standard, isn't it? There is step-free access. Um, you just have to go a complete, like a different route, so it can be completely step-free. I don't know if I was able to pick up the audio, but who knew this was a competition? More than fifty designs for floating, sliding, and lifting bridges uh, were submitted in 1876. They picked one. I'm not sure if you can see that. Probably not with the reflection. There's a little video. I think you can just about see that. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting close, aren't we? Would have kind of made sense. Oh, we're getting closer. <laughs> oh, very quickly, they have these little slide things so you can open and take pictures without getting the glass reflection. That's kind of nice. Oh, flipping heck. This is what everyone wants to do is walk on the glass floor section. Oh my god, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm really scared of heights. I'm gonna just like be a chicken for a second. Oh my gosh, that is so far down. How good would this be if this was going up? You can see those people down there are at the halfway point. Oh, if the bridge was going up, that would be awesome. And we do get to go across the other side as well. But yeah, lots of people are having fun on the glass floor. <laughs> As 
we saw on the way up, a million pounds, million quid, whatever that is in a Victorian money. Interesting they haven't put an inflation thing there because it will need updating weekly, but 13 to 14 million rivets. Oh my gosh, look at this. So it's saying the rivets were heated until they were red hot. The rivet heater then grabbed them with these tongs like these, but wait for it, and then threw them to the catcher. He passed them up to the holder up, and then his colleague then bashed the rivets into place. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to complain about anything I have to do at work again. Yeah, there's been some really good, like, interesting information up here. I'm very impressed. Yeah, there we go. The construction team's worked up to heights of 80, sorry, 60 meters, can't read, with no safety nets or harnesses. Oh, oh no. And 10 did lose their lives. And this is a skilled man who built Tower Bridge, also may have worked on the Titanic a few years later. Not sure how I feel about that but let's head on to the next section. Oh, I love this, a national effort, and it's got a map of the UK and all of the different locations um, where lots of the different materials and things came from. Oh, it's nice and cool in these sections. It's very warm in those bridges. They've got the heating pumping out, but look at this. Oh, wow. Oh gosh, that's so high up. And if you've made it this far in the video, can you comment, like, where do you want to see in London? Because this was £11.40. I feel like this is really good value and I'm going to call out places if I don't think they are good value. Um, this is fantastic. I can't believe this is, this, it seems quite cheap to be honest. I kind of said to myself beginning of the year, Jan, Feb, March, I want to do some touristy things out and about and yes, cycling videos coming your way. Oh, we have another glass floor. Oh gosh. Oh, I like these little like stickers they've got. Yeah, so they've got a little bit of the, the call outs. Oh, should I line it up? Hey, they thought about that, didn't they? I like that. <laughs> the Chardon City Hall. Let's go for it. Ooh. <laughs> also, I have to call out, look at the state of my trainers. I'm really sorry. This trainer keeps getting really dirty where I'm cycling and I'm like kicking the pedal up anyway, aside from like grubby trainers. Oh, now on the other side. And if I look up, they have this mirror. <laughs> It's kind of terrifying. Oh, there we go. You've got to get your hashtag in, haven't you? But it's funny. Everyone's getting some fun pictures. Oh, that water looks terrifying, doesn't it? Very murky. Ooh. And it says since the Queen's Silver Jubilee in 1977, the colour scheme of the Tower Bridge has been red, white and blue. And it was originally that chocolate brown colour that we've seen um, in quite a few of the shots. And it was painted grey during the Second World War to help it camouflage. I love how it kind of like frames all of these uh, pictures that you're taking. Oh look, and we can also see the London Eye peeking through there. Oh, we've got another thing to line up. Wait, where is it? The Walkie Talkie building. Hey, there you go. What have we got? St Paul's Cathedral. Oh, I can't quite line up. I'm not tall enough. Um, and then you have got the monument for the Great Fire of London, which I'm just going to zoom in and show you. There we go with the gold on top. I'm really not very good at holding my camera. I'm trying my best. Lovely view. And there we have the Gherkin, another Norman Foster. I'm calling out all the Norman Foster build buildings in my videos, but what a stunning view. I used to work that neck of the woods. Um, it's quite nice to not have to travel <laughs> to this area. I used to work by Moorgate. But you get a really good view up here, guys, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, we'll go to the Sky Garden soon. That's terrifying. It says if uh, the bridge fell to lift, traffic in London would come to a standstill and it opens 20 or 30 times a week and can fully open in 60 seconds. Right, now I'm going to head down to the engine room. So you just pop back the way you were and let's head on down the stairs. <laughs> seemed like long ago 1976 it changed to electric engines and oil hydraulics gosh they were busy in 1910 64 lifts per day there's a lot of big boats coming through so yeah they have lots of fun information i really really like that and it also said that it's been repainted seven times and the last time it was painted they used 22,000 liters of paint flip neck that's a lot isn't it and now we are at this huge area i love this beautiful picture look at that and um, another gorgeous window with a stunning light. And there's a little bit of a blurb on what would happen if the bridge broke down. I am genuinely impressed with this. This is definitely worth £11.40 and I haven't even got to the engine room yet. So as you saw, remember your ticket and you follow the little blue line and it's got, again, some more information as we walk along. So, if you're not paying to do the tour, keep an eye out for these. 
We're on the like the east side. 50 meters. By the way, if you are down here, yeah, you yeah. don't have to have like a ticket to use these lifts up to um, the street level, but that is on both sides, so you can have pretty good access, I'd say, to uh, the river side. River side? Riverside. Oh my gosh, I can smell. Oh, it's caramelized peanuts and almonds. It's just the sound of walking along the South Bank, isn't it? Um, well, further along by the South Bank anyway. I'm still following the blue line. Are we there? We're there. Let's go and check this out. I vaguely remember this when I was a kid. Ticket ready. Hi, Hi. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. What's well, toasty in here? Oh, look at this. It's got the full wave of how it all works. The coal in the boilers, steam pumping the engines, and then it's going to the hydro hydraulic pumps, accumulators, and then that is, yeah, getting the bridge to move up and down. I really do need a wider lens, but yeah, that looks awesome. Oh, mind the height, I never really have the problem with that. Oh no, that is quite low, flip the neck. Made me feel tall. Oh, it smells old in here, I love that. An example of one of the coal trains, I guess, coming in. There are bathrooms in here. Everyone always asks me with these things. Don't worry, guys. And then going into, oh, look at this. Oh, I remember this. This I remember. Um, the steam pump engines. I must confess the other night I went to bed far too late because I've just got Sky TV and I was watching Fred Dibner. <laughs> I feel like my dad would be proud of that. Do you like these little um, screens that they have? So yeah, there's obviously two of these as you've seen. To the steam governor, look at that. And then onto the next section. The smell of oil was quite sweet. Who'd have thought, but yeah, they got lots of knickknacks. And I'm gonna just sit and watch this little video that they've got about people who worked on the bridge. Yeah, they've got lots of fun, interactive things um, in here. I'm so impressed, there's so much in here. There we go, them in action in theory. I like that they've kept all the old, oh, let's not trip, the old bits and bobs. Oh gosh, it goes all the way up, look at that. I feel like there's gonna be a quiz at the end. How many people crossed? How much did it weigh? How much did it cost? <laughs> and what it's like now with a computer. Right, let's head on through the gift shop. Automatic, do not push, there we go. Oh, busy, busy, and yeah, you can just come in here, even if you didn't do the tour. Blimey, it rained while we were in there. What? I'm so confused. Where did the rain come from? Right, guys, I have made it. That was an awesome tour. Highly recommend. How was that only £11.40? I think that's actually really, really good value. Um, but yes, with the ice cream van in the background, it was a bit cold for an ice cream, isn't it? Um, I'm going to love and leave you because I think this video is already quite long. Um, so yeah, I will show you along the south of the river another video. Now I'm going to get my GoPro. Let's cycle around in a few vlogs time anyway but thank you so much for making this far in the video make sure you're subscribed like on instagram like on instagram come and say hi on instagram give this video a thumbs up i would really really appreciate it and i will see you next friday at 6 p.m bye